Welcome to Stickums. Delivery. You're engaged? I didn't even know you were seeing anyone else. I'm glad you're engaged because I'm engaged too. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. I saw you got engaged. This is so exciting. I didn't even know you were seeing anyone. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Honey, if you hadn't had gotten engaged, we all knew you were going to become a bag lady. Well, Mom, you don't have to worry well, about that. it sounds like you're busy. I'm not busy. Hi, kiddo. How are you doing? Hi, Dad. Did I tell you I lost 20 pounds? Yes, last time I talked to you. Okay, see that? That's the, the, with the 20 pounds. It was out to here. Now it's here. You know, I, I, did I tell you I got a standing ovation in anger management class? Well, Dad, it sounds like you're busy. <laughs> This is my kind of guy. Hi. Oh, hey, Melinda. Hi. This is Maddie, and I just took Maddie to his very first baseball game. Cool, big day. Melinda and I are gonna go get coffee now, so you are free to go. Bye. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look, look at him go. Wow, him go. he's a good runner. He's been running all day. Yeah. Is uh, is your son gonna be okay off on his own? <laughs> That's not my son. Come on, let's go get some coffee. So you seem to be in the market for getting married. Mm, yeah. Um, hey, do you mind if I document this experience right now? No. Okay, I just... Oh, excuse me, excuse, will you take our picture? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. There you go. Get it while we're talking to each other. Like, you're not even there, but there's a picture. I'm talking. And I'm talking and back. I'm talking and we are talking. We're having a good we time. We are ex having an exchange. It's an hey, exchange. Hey, you're that girl from the cake. You jumped out of a cake to surprise my boss, Michael. I'm the girl that wheeled the cake in. Oh. Oh, I am so sorry about that whole thing. Yeah, I got fired for that. That's why I work here now. We're gonna need a few that's, more photos, okay? Make sure the shadow's not in our faces. I'm living on borrowed time. I was told that I only have 10 years to live. Oh my God, when? 10 years ago. Jesus. I know. So I need a wife ASAP, and I'm asking you, will you be that wife? I don't know, I mean, I feel kind of weird about it because on the one hand, it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. I mean, you clearly need a wife. And I clearly need a husband, so it looks like I didn't lie on my Facebook status. But I don't know, I just feel kind of weird about marrying a dying man just to save face on Facebook. I mean, that seems so shallow and desperate. I don't know. What's wrong with me, right? Listen, listen. I know you got a lot of thoughts in your head. But think of it this way. You need to just live a little and live a little for people who don't have long to live a little, right? Yeah, you're right. So, so will you marry me? I think I will. <laughs> you think so? Is that a yes? Is that a yes? It is a yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're getting married. We just showed up for coffee and now we're getting married. <laughs> it happened so fast. Oh, it happened so fast, but it feels so right. It, it feels, feels so right. right. I'm gonna call my mom. You have a mom? Yeah, she was expecting this. Oh, so I actually weird. just, so I, I got a text. Like, yeah, I got a text from my first choice oh. girl, and she said yes. So, I'm gonna go with her. What? My first choice girl, she sent me a text and said yes. You got a better offer? Uh, a different offer, yeah, I bet, yes. I prefer brunette, so. Then why did you ask me? Well, she she said she was gonna mull it over, and I thought she, you know, was had made her decision, and then you were sort of a backup. You didn't get the feeling that you were a backup? I've been completely deceived. I'm dying, and you're feeling sorry I mean, for yourself? maybe that's not even true. I mean, are you really dying, or is that just some BS line to get a wife? No, I could get a wife even if I wasn't dying. You know what? Don't trust Craigslist, right? Right now, you're coming off as really desperate really desperate and you, with this attitude you are not going to attract anyone. What kind of a floozy marries you that easily? You know, marrying you would have been the worst decision of my life. Worst decision of my life. Ooh.